<clears throat> Welcome to the Louis file. Um, you know, recently I shared about Ephesians 2 and how we were dead in our trespasses and we used to be uh, walking according to the world and the prince of the power of the air who is Satan, which is the spirit that works in the children of disobedience and how it was kind of a, a bad situation. It wasn't just some human being that had done something wrong, but it was a human being, meaning Adam and us, being joined in him to Satan. I mean, I know that's that's a hard one to swallow, but the good news is is that God, even while we were dead in our trespasses, he uh, he raised us up. He raised us up, made us alive together with Christ. In, in Ephesians 2, if you keep reading, he says, and seated us in heavenly places, seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And then it wasn't just to seat us there, but it was. It says, so that he, in the ages to come, he might show the surpassing richness, richness of his grace and kindness toward us in, in Christ Jesus. So there's a plan. The plan is, is that we would be the way by which God would reveal how awesome he is. <laughs> if he can take someone separated from him, dead in their trespasses and sins, someone that is joined to a satanic force that is in open blatant rebellion with him he can take that person and by way of the cross <clears throat> join us to Christ so that he would separate us from the spirit of error and join us to the spirit of truth it takes the cross in order to break us free from our old master it takes death that's where the real separation comes in and while in Adam we uh, participated in the sin which separated us from God, in Christ, through the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, and, and we in Him, we are now joined back to God, become one spirit with Him, and we have left our old union to our sin boss. In uh, 1 John 4 it says, Greater is He that is in me, or in you, than he that is in the world. And it goes on to explain that, that there's one He, the Spirit of Truth, and there's another He, the Spirit of Error. So one of them is within us and one of them is without us. So we have actually uh, died to sin and become alive to God in righteousness. So uh, we no longer have to listen to the old boss. Uh, uh, so even though he might call to us and pull on us and tempt us to uh, engage in the behaviors we used to engage in, all we have to do is say, but I'm Christ now. I don't, I don't belong to you anymore. As a little kid would say, you're not the boss of me. So that's how we overcome him, right? You know, in the book of Revelation, it says we overcome the enemy by the, uh, the uh, blood of the lamb, the word of our testimony, and the loving not of our lives, even unto the death. So we're born again, and we're forgiven. We're found in right standing with God because of the blood of the lamb. We uh, share that story in our testimony about what God has done for us uh, in Christ. And we learn to love God even more than our own life. And, and therefore, we, we are more and more willing as the days go by to lay it down for others. Because we start to walk according to the Spirit and according to faith and not according to the flesh or according to sight. Just by what we see, feel, and here all the time in the worldly realm, but we now start to comprehend things that no one can comprehend outside of the Spirit of God. Uh, amazing things. So there really is truly a spiritual battle and there are spiritual lines that have been drawn. But the good news is we have been saved by grace through faith and it's a gift of God. That's what it tells us in Ephesians 2. It's a gift of God. There's nothing we can do. All we can do is receive it. In the Gospel of John, we're told that he came, Jesus came into his own, but his own received him not. But to them that received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons or children of God. So if you haven't received him, I, I pray that you would, and that you would uh, receive this brand new eternal life in Christ, and that you could leave behind the, the trespasses and sins and the death and the darkness that you uh, had been living in. Uh, I promise you won't regret it. Uh, so thanks for listening. Until next time, adios.